So today I've got a super easy cheese scone recipe for you and all you need for this is 225 grams of self-raising flour, a pinch of salt, a pinch of paprika or whatever kind of herb that you like. You can use like mixed spice or something different but I really like paprika. Um, a tablespoon of baking powder, no a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, 22 grams of butter, um, 100 grams of cheese plus a little bit extra for the top, um, 80 to 90 mils of milk and then a little bit extra for glazing. Um, so what you want to do is preheat your oven to 200, um, 220 if you've got a fan oven and 200 if not. Put your baking tray with baking parchment or greaseproof paper in the oven whilst it's heating up because that helps the bottom of the scone to cook when you actually put the scones in. So you just pop them, pop that in the oven whilst you're waiting for it to heat up and then you can start on your ingredients. So you put the flour, salt, the paprika or herb of your choice and baking powder into a sieve it into a bowl like that and then what you want to do is get your 55 grams of butter um, and you want to put that into the flour and then you want to mix it in with your hands so make sure your hands are nice and clean um, and just mix it in with your hands and get in there and make sure all the butter's kind of melted and mixed in but to mix it together you're just kind of rubbing it like that so you just kind of rub the butter between your fingers with the flour and you're aiming for like a sand consistency at the end but that's the kind of consistency you have um, at the end so now you can just bung all of your cheese in um, just leave a little, a little bit to put on top of the um, scones because you're going to glaze them in milk and then just put a little bit of cheese on top just leave enough to glaze them this is going to be enough to make six so if you want more than that you just need to double the recipe so you put the cheese in there mix it all together you don't want to do it too much you don't want to handle the cheese too much because you don't want to melt it um, so that's kind of as much as you need to mix it that's kind of done there and then what you do is just make a little well in the middle with your fingers and just pour the milk in a bit at a time so just don't put it all in you've got your 80 to 90 mils so 85 mils really um and then just put it in a well in the middle and just mix it in with your hands and it will start to kind of come together um and put it in gradually because you don't want the mixture to be too wet so you just want to make sure that it just binds together and you're not left with like a mixture that's too wet to actually roll out okay so you've bound your ingredients together so you've got a little kind of slab of dough like that now so you just want to put a bit of flour plain flour on the surface plonk it out onto the table and then you want to just scones come out best if you don't like handle them too much so just kind of put it into a shape it into a circle and then just press it down rather than rolling it although that kind of contradicts the not touching it too much but whatever so and you want it to be like maybe an inch thick and then you can get your little cutter and just cut out some scones and just push it out and there you have a lovely little scone to put on your baking tray just keep cutting them out until you've got six or however many your pastry makes it's not too have to be too exact if you make five or seven or whatever but just cut them out and put them on your tray on your greaseproof paper so and i managed to get nine out of that recipe not six in the end so i used a slightly smaller cutter so just kind of make whatever size you want really um and get as much out of the mix as you want um so then what you need to do 
to get a little egg brush and the remainder of your milk and just brush the top of the scones with a little bit of milk. And then you're just going to sprinkle a bit of cheese on top of that and put them in the oven, which you've preheated to 200. Um, if you've got a fan oven, 220 if not. And then you just sprinkle a bit of cheese on. And that's it. So that is what you're aiming for at the end. Some lovely paprika or whatever flavour you like. Cheese scones. And you don't have to put any paprika in or any herbs. You can just have the cheese and everything without it. Um, especially for children, they might, might not like that strong flavour. So then you put them in the oven for um, 20 minutes approximately, sort of 15 to 20. I tend to cook them for 20. Um, that seems to work out the best when I've done them. And then we'll see what they come out like. So here we have the finished product. Some delicious cheese scones. An easy autumn recipe and a tasty snack. I know what I'll be eating for my lunch for the next few days. If you found that video useful, I have lots more on my channel. Just subscribe and you can see things like how to make a cupcake bouquet, how to make hot cross buns, how to make cream egg brownies, how to cover a cake in fondant and loads more. And I'll be back soon. Let me know in the comments if you have any requests for future tutorials. Um, I'm always open to ideas.